Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm back with another vlog. I got very good and very exciting news about my small business. As you guys know, I run a small business from my garage. As you guys know, I make a custom glass cans with really cute designs for different uh, holidays and just for fun. And I also make custom t-shirts with different designs. Um, and although I really love doing that and I love um, my customers it takes a lot of my time especially when I uh, design t-shirts I have to cut the design out of the vinyl and basically um, it takes a, a very long time so I got really good news I basically reached out to one of the companies that uh, make DTF printers that's supposed to make my life a whole a lot easier if you guys don't know what DTF printer is I know the name is a little bit of a uh, more technical DTF printer is able to print using white ink unlike the other printers and they basically are able to print on the film so you can uh, basically either sell those transfers or you can use these transfers uh, to customize the apparel. These printers are usually the industrial grade and they are very pricey but I found a printer that um, got really really good reviews so I reached out to the company and they agreed to work with me so I'm very excited because I got their package delivered so I got their DTF printer it also comes with the oven to bake this DTF transfers because they have to be heated up to the certain temperature and I also got the air purifier because when you heat up this transfers basically um, to get these toxins out the air, you need this air purifier. So I got all the stuff from them and I'm very excited to check them out. I'm trying to borrow daddy to help me to open the packages, but Carlo built this train CD and he's not letting me to borrow daddy for 20 minutes to help me open the boxes. I'm checking it out, that's so cool. Thank you, Carol. Yeah. So I got these three boxes right here. So it's supposed to be a printer and the oven. It's supposed to be some materials for printing. And this is supposed to be like an air purifier. I can need this. Yep. Honestly, I've been so lucky that my husband was at home to help me out with the box because he has a special tools for opening boxes like this. So as you guys can see, everything arrived very well packaged and I love that all the accessories that I needed were intact. All I had to do just do a little bit unpacking and I used scissors to uh, rip the plastic open. This is the oven and this is the printer by itself. This is Pro colored L1800 DTF printer and it is so cute guys everything is so shiny inside nice and clean never been used before and I'm very excited to try it and this is the tray uh, for paper but later I'm gonna use the roll instead of this tray and this is the power cord USB and all the necessary accessories everything is very well packaged and nothing was damaged during shipping this is the oven it was already assembled the only thing my husband had to put the handle on this tray and it was ready and this is a printer I had to do a little bit of assembly but it was super easy because I received the USB that had all the instructions so I set it up according to instructions I put this waste basket in the back of the printer this is where the waste ink is gonna go and I had to plug in the power cord and the USB that's going to lead to my computer so now I'm gonna set up all the inks um, it came with all the bottles that I needed so I'm just unpackaging them right here and I'm going to pour them in the ink containers on the printer and they are color coded so I know exactly which color to pour in which container it was super easy to do I did not need to um, have any additional accessories I just pour them straight from the bottle and screw the leads back on it was super easy to do some inks were a little bit thicker than others and I had to press on the bottles a little bit but for the most part it was super easy and basically I did not even have to clean everything um, after this procedure 
I also wanted to mention that there is two uh, tubes coming out of this container with uh, white ink. It's because this printer is going to uh, print basically white underneath all the colors to make sure that all the colors pop and going to be visible on uh, lighter colors of t-shirts and on the darker ones as well. So um, I'm almost done with uh, transferring these inks just screwing the last lid and now I'm going to uh, wire this ink through the tubes. I'm using the syringes that came uh, with it and I'm just uh, taking a couple of milliliters out of each of them and I'm going to pour them back into this container. I'm not going to waste any of this ink. So I'm going to follow this procedure for basically all the colors and as I already mentioned that is going to be uh, two white ones because there's two white channels in there. Now I'm almost done. I just have two colors left which is yellow and uh, the black. And I also have to uh, basically wire this uh, waste ink in the back of the printer. So I set up this uh, roll holder and I'm just uh, putting the paper through it and basically doing the final touches into this assembly. Now I turn it on in the back of this printer and I turn on the front of this printer. There's just two buttons and now I'm just waiting for it to heat up to the appropriate temperature. I believe the default temperature is about 40 degrees Celsius which is perfect temperature for printing and now that it reached this temperature it is ready to be used. And it's actually really interesting to open this lid right here and just see how this printer basically gets itself ready for printing. It's so interesting. So now I'm using their RIP software that came with this printer and it's very easy to follow the instructions to get it uh, all set up. I basically imported this picture. I bought it on Etsy and uh, it was basically ready to be printed. I did all the manipulations I had to do following the instructions and press confirm and now my printer is printing the design and as you can see there's a white background underneath all the pictures uh, so all the colors are going to pop. This is a t-shirt I'm going to be using and I didn't know what to do with it for a while so this is going to be perfect for this design. So now it's turned for the oven. I'm going to turn it on using the switch right here and I'm going to adjust the temperature to 120 degrees which is recommended and I'm going to adjust the time for 200 seconds. This is basically the time that's necessary to melt the adhesive powder that I'm going to put on my DTF print. So this is the powder. I just purchased it off the Amazon, very inexpensive. I'm just pouring it all over the print and I'm basically rolling it back and forth to make sure that um, the whole thing is basically covered with this powder and the rest I'm just going to save for later. So the sprint is ready to go into the oven. Oven is already preheated. I'm just putting it in and pressing this button right here to set up the timer. So now 200 seconds later it is ready. So now I'm pre-pressing my t-shirt. I'm just giving it a quick press to get rid of wrinkles. So I'm putting this thermal paper just to protect the fabric and I'm giving it a quick press for about 45 seconds, 320 degrees. And now that surface is prepared and ready, I'm going to apply a picture on it. Uh, it's very important to take your time with it and make it nice and straight. I love that uh, this oven melted all the adhesive powder that I applied on it. So it's going to assure that picture is going to stay on it. I'm also going to uh, cover it with this thermal uh, protective paper and I'm going to press it for 320 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 seconds and after I take it out I'm going to give it some time to uh, cool down about 10 minutes and now that it's completely cooled I'm ready to peel this um, white paper off and I already love how uh, bright the colors are and the quality of the print itself. It just, it's just really cute. I never knew that I can do such thing at home. And now I'm going to give it a final press one more time. 
So this is how my uh, t-shirt looks like. It's going to be perfect to go to Disneyland. Um, I love the fabric and I love this popping pictures and I guess Xavier loves it too. So the last thing that I got for my setup is this air purifier right here. It's supposed to eliminate smoke and bacteria. You can adjust the power of it and it's supposed to help me to get rid of this uh, toxic air uh, and smoke that you saw in the previous uh, clip during the DTF baking process. So I've been using this Pro Colored L1800 printer for the past week and I printed about 10 t-shirts on it and I can just say that this is amazing printer. I love that it still looks brand new. I do maintenance on it following the instructions uh, pretty much every day. It did not use that much ink although I do the nozzle checks and nozzle cleaning every day. This printer is perfect for my home setup, easy to set up and easy to use. Definitely gets my approval. I'll post the links down below.